You smell that? It's a good day to rock. At the beginning, it was Dee, Butch, and Tommy. We were the trio. The second album, playing live on top of the pop, it's the Eels. The smokestack spitting black soot into the sooty sky. When I first met E, he said, here's this record I just did in my garage. It was the beautiful freak record, the first record of the Eels. And I heard it and I said, this is fucking amazing. Won't forget what it's like inside his cage. All the way from Los Angeles, Brit Award winners, please welcome, they're over here, they made their own backdrop, Eels. For about five years, I did four records and it shot my career into the stratosphere. Goddamn right, it's a beautiful day. record, I wasn't making any money. And he, the owner of the band, didn't want to pay me anything. He thought everything was great, and, I, and he and I were the last members of the Eels, and I said I, I needed to take care of my family, and he said, well, you're making enough money, but I wasn't. Susan's house, she's gonna make you right. were not going to be able to pay me and so I took a big chance and uh, I said oh, I gotta go out and find something else and opportunities opened themselves to me and that's when I met Tracy Chapman and that tour was the next big you know stepping stone in my career. Talking about a revolution sounds while they're standing in the welfare line Crying at the doorsteps of those armies of salvation Wasting time in the unemployment lines Sitting around Yes, sir. What do you love about your life? I love that I get to do what I love. So ever since I was a little boy, six years old, I started playing drums, and I kept at it, and I never gave up, and I still do it to this day. I'm 58 years old, and I'm gonna keep going till I die. Well, thank you. My pleasure. You are such a great man. Thanks. Sure. Thank you, my pleasure.